With an online MBA from Purdue University, you get one-on-one -on -one support from a dedicated student success coach and world-class Purdue faculty. We're with you from your first small step to your next giant leap and beyond. Learn more. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Poets and Quants' Must Reads, a quick digestible recap of the top business school news. I'm your host, Christy Bleizeffer, and I'll be highlighting the most important P&Q stories you might have missed. So let's get to it. Number one, the best online MBA programs of 2023. Well, IU Kelly has done it again. For the second time in six years, Indiana University's Kelly Direct MBA program finished atop all other online MBA programs in the country in our new ranking. Kelly is a pioneer in the online space, launching its remote MBA 22 years ago with just 14 students. Compare that to last year when it had more than 700 online MBAs and master graduates. Carnegie Mellon University's Tepper School of Business came in second. University of Southern California Marshall School of Business was third. If you're considering an online MBA or looking for programs, be sure to check out the full list in our rankings tab. Number two. Attention laid off tech workers, a top five B school wants you to consider an MBA. Elon Musk began his ownership of Twitter last month by firing thousands of social media giant employees. Then he fired some more and then even more. Meta, meanwhile, the owner of Facebook, fired 13% of its workforce this month, around 11,000 employees. According to TrueUp, a website that tracks hundreds of thousands of jobs at top startups, unicorns, and big tech companies, the tech world as a whole has had a layoff-heavy year going all the way back to December 2021, with more than 180,000 tech workers losing their jobs. Now, Northwestern Kellogg is courting these laid-off tech workers, offering to waive its test scores for its full or part-time MBA programs. You can read why Kellogg is making this generous offer in our news tab. Number three, NYU Stern's one-year tech MBA, 55% women, 100% employed. In 2018, NYU Stern launched its Andre Ku Tech MBA, a brand new one-year specialized MBA program almost in a class by itself. Five years later, its latest class boasts 100% employment after graduation and average first year compensation approaching 200,000. And that's without the two-year opportunity cost of a full-time program. And even as gender parity continues to be an elusive goal for the majority of MBAs, here now is one that has enrolled more than 55% women and in tech no less. You can read more about the program on our homepage. Number four, our weekly roundup of news you can use. No matter where you are in your MBA journey, we bring several helpful stories for you this week. First up, don't miss our second annual $50,000 pitch competition with Washington University's Olin Business School. The Big Idea Bounce is a pitch contest open to all current business students. Submit your idea in an easy to complete online form by January 15th. Get full entry details and more on that $50,000 prize in our news tab. Next, for those looking for the right programs, we have the latest employment reports from the class of 2022. This week, you can get the stats for MIT Sloan, Duke Fuqua, and Chicago Booth. Find these and other recent job reports in our news tab. And finally, what does Stanford really look for in its MBAs? Former adcoms professionals reveal the secrets in this helpful story, available now in our admission tab. And that's it for this week's Must Reads Recap. I also want to alert all the school seekers out there to Center Court's upcoming MBA festival, where you'll get front row seats to leaders of some of the top programs. Our next event is February 7th to 8th, and is a must-end event for any serious MBA candidate. Register now for free. Again. I'm Christy Bleizeffer, and you can join me next week right here for a recap of what's important in the world of business education. Thanks for listening, and as always, stay informed.